Hi Nick, it's me, Stefan again, and hello world, um, Nick, uh, y you know you know my video uh, from a few weeks ago, where I have explained the way from Unity to Xbox, and uh, today I have a new project for us, um, and I will call it How To. Hmm. Um, test the performance on Xbox versus Xbox Series S. Yo, that's all. We need the 3D um, option here. Just click create, wait a few seconds and Unity will bring us its nice interface in a few seconds. Maybe I have to speed up this one here later in Premiere. Premiere. What is it called in English? I think Adobe Premiere. In German, Adobe Premiere. Yeah. Come on. Maybe uh, it is worth the time to try to pull the screen. No, it isn't. Okay. Okay, hey, small window, but we can resize it here using this nice square button. Yo, next is, um, I have prepared a, a short C-sharp script and we have to set it in our um, Unity window here. And in a very easy way, we will do it in a very easy way just click right here on the hierarchy window create empty it's uh, the function for creating a, a small a game object and the name is okay game object and when i click it here it will appear on the right side in the inspector window and i only to have to click on the add component button here and whatever I type in here, Unity will me will show me all things I can uh, bring here. Uh, I can um, use from here. And I have typed in UN, and it will bring you a script. Wherever I type C sharp here, and it's also a new script. Yes, and when I press a button. Um, I have to uh, give it a name. I will call it um, whatever Monchishi. The name is uh, not so important right now. And here the script appears. Just um, double click the script here and Visual Studio is also coming to us and we only have to uh, copy here my prepared script. Uh, my script is here in the paste bin and I will give you the link to. Paste bin is a very nice uh, online tool where you can uh, yeah, store some scripts you have made or you can grab it from other users there. In a very uh, clear, um, oh, what is it? Um, away in the right syntax so copy just copy it go back to visual studio community edition steuerung v um, and now we only have to um, grab a special information here this one here it's uh, the name of the script steuerung c or copy save it and close it very important because we are now going to our uh, unity project and we have to rename the script here and we can't do it when it is open open it in an other program rename copy a paste and then it is yeah, right here. And now it will run in the background of Unity, 
and we can see it when we are clicking or when we click on the game object and we have the wait a minute oh yeah it is recording our session and also my voice here that's very important your yeah, next is um, go back to unity here and we have to um, yeah replace uh, here a few settings the reason is in the script I will you can see it here I have declared an amount and a space and I will ask for a game object here yes and so I can go uh, give here a, a number a value of 16 maybe the space is 4 and we need a special game object and I will create for that one for that reason a sphere the name is okay but uh, we will uh, make it smaller in x y and z point, uh, point 0.5 and now I can drag the sphere here using drag and drop function to prefab yeah, and there it is and when I press play the sphere should uh, appear in a yeah, grid like this but the plane is very high and we have to bring it a little bit up below what is the word in English I don't know I'm sorry um, okay that's very easy we only uh, click the, um, the script again and I will here here's the building information for our plane it will uh, go faster than I run faster uh, than I have created it in Unity. Non using a script. Minus 5. Okay. Save it. Go back to Unity. Wait a few seconds. And then it should. Yes. Uh, here, here it is. You can uh, see it here. And now the plane should be a little bit. Um, under our horizon yes that's better but my other problem is that I have to switch a few things in the script no in our unity pro uh, project settings here and I will write it uh, in the description below this video and uh, on YouTube yo and you will know what I have to change because I don't know it um, right now. I have to ask in the Unity Discord what I have to uh, change here. Okay, next step is close this one here. No, let it uh, uh, let uh, check us um, check off the audio auto graphic IPA for Windows here, and let's switch this one from direct 11 to 12 okay we don't need a special thing here yes that's all okay file save <phone rings> Do -do -do -do. file build settings we have to switch from pc mac standalone to universal windows platform and to, we have to use this version that is very important and then just press the switch platform at the button and I have to speed up this one too and the rest of the way is very easy you know it I have explained it uh, explained um, the way in a video a few weeks ago in the middle of March I assume yeah and um, yeah just cl click on build um, create a new folder maybe called uh, first try out I don't know um, double click on the new button new folder and then cr create or change the folder and the program will create a solution it's called project mapper in German and means we will be able on the end of the day um, to make our msix file for the xbox using the solution file 
uh, which is uh, Unity currently billing for us here right now. Okay, and now you have the first tryout folder here. Uh, and in there is a, a nice folder called how to test blah 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 monshishi and in there is um, and I hope it is in there an solution file where is it yeah here okay just make a double click on it Visual Studio is coming back to us and will open the solution the project mapper file we have to make a few changes here. Just um, go from debug to master, from ARM to x64, and then make a right click on your solution file here. In your project map and explorer, uh, go to uh, publish and a package, creating a package here, and it will bring us a new window. Uncheck the box here go to the next step to the next step just um, um, yeah check this box here go to create and Visual Studio is making the next step for us called bring us a nice um, new folder here uh, with a msix file we have to bring that we have to bring in the xbox and then we can have a view or look if the xbox series is is faster than our older xbox one yeah we'll be back in a few seconds Hi Nick, I'm back and um, I've got some new information about our problem with the uh, spheres which were uh, not falling in the correct way um, but I will describe it later. We uh, have to bring our msix file from Visual Studio community to Xbox One and you can see our remote access um, interface and uh, here is a URL in the front and I will bring this one in my um man ah here yeah, okay um in my browser i'm sorry for being very slow because it was a very hard day you can see uh what i will get when i um type in the Xbox One URL, dev mod, activation URL. But uh, don't think twice about this um, notice here. Go, Just go to um, further steps and go to accept your risk and put in your Xbox login information and Voila, we get, we will get the uh, Xbox device portal interface here. Okay, uh, let me go a step back to our Xbox uh, settings here. You can see here your information for username and password and you can bring it there. Also very, very important is this step here. Create a test account. It is the same as you use for your Xbox Live account. Okay. 
Okay, now we don't have any games here. Let's switch uh, using OSB to our um, um, browser interface here, the browser side. And I have to push this button or to press it. And we'll go to um, looking for my, for our new or our man disconnected my hard disk i'm sorry wait a minute without a net and a double button okay thunderbolt connection portal okay mac pc swap Steph. oh man unity oh yeah here serious is how to test first tryout app packages. And there should be the MSAX file. Maybe here. Okay. Open. Next. We don't need a depend um, uh, an upping file. Dependency. Okay. Upload. And it should appear in our video capture uh, device here in uh, in our Xbox in a few seconds. There it is, and now we can go to the Xbox and try to test it. Yeah, that's look good. Looks good. And yeah, everything is fine. Nice. Yeah, and here we are. That's it. Nick, um, oh, echo, wait, come on, okay, now it's better. Um, I made a few steps in Unity again, and I will explain it in a few words, uh, better uh, than write it down. Um, you have to build a physical material in Unity and then to set the friction and the mass of your sphere to zero and then it will run in a better way than we have seen it in the xbox um, yeah example a few seconds ago yo that's it bye